guys, welcome back to another What You Got meal in my kitchen. Today we're going to be making another soup. Today we're gonna be making a pumpkin sausage soup. I was inspired by my younger sister who was making pumpkin soup of her own and I thought I have almost all those ingredients and I think it would be really good with some sausage that I had. So, like last time, I used bratwurst. I think I had, no, I had Italian sausage and I squeezed out the meat from the casings. Well, I have bratwurst. I usually always have a package in the freezer, so I set those out and I squeezed the contents out of the casing and I'm just cooking them up here. And um, then we'll set those aside and we'll pour that into the soup when we get there. So I'm gonna go chop some onions and some carrots and put some chicken broth into the pot. Cook it all up. Then I'm gonna add the pumpkin. I baked a whole, this is a pie pumpkin. So I believe it just means they're a little bit sweeter, but baked a pie pumpkin, kind of mashed it up roughly. And then I'm gonna throw that in there. I don't have a, like a puree -er, and I don't know if they wanna stick it all in the blender. So we're just gonna see how it goes. Like most of my What You Got meals are, we're just gonna work as we go and we'll taste and we'll modify. So I think it's a great tool for when you're trying to break up the meat. Like if you're ever cooking ground beef or ground turkey or ground sausage, I just take my pastry cutter and I separate it and I get it in there and it breaks it up the bigger chunks into some smaller ones. So that's just a little tip for you. We definitely have too many. Oh my gosh, it burns so bad. It's just, it's just onions give me a lot of feelings. All right, so we've got some hot oil in the pot. So we're gonna go ahead and add, sorry, I'm up here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the onions. Freshly chopped onions into a pot or a pan with sizzling oil. And then stirring it around, for some reason, it just makes me feel like I'm a real chef. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I mean, doesn't that look so legit? Yum. <laughs> so, if you wanna feel like you know what you're doing, chop an onion, throw it into a pan or a pot with some hot oil, and stir. You can't go wrong with starting any dish like that. Put more oil. I'm just using extra virgin olive oil. Get some carrots chopped. And yes, I am using baby snack carrots because that's usually all I ever have on hand. I don't ever think, oh, I'm gonna use carrots in a dish. Let me buy some stock carrot stalks. And it's easier to do carrot sticks for snacks with the kids. So this is usually what I have on hand. But it's all the same, right? Ah! Oh! Do you guys ever chop your finger and you're thankful that you have a nail there because otherwise the stinking knife would have gone through your finger? Yeah, that just happened. Okay, now we're gonna stick the carrots in. My really unevenly chopped carrots. So here we have the mixture. Cooking down, looks good. Pretty with the, the red onion in there too. I wish I had celery, but I've got celery seeds, so at least we'll get some flavor. What do they call that trio? They call it something. I should know, I've looked it up before. You know what I'm talking about. Onion, celery, carrots, like the base of everything. Anyway, I never have celery. But that's okay. I always have good old celery seeds. So, stay tuned. I just added some garlic powder, probably like half a tablespoon. 
I'm like, do I want to add sage? Yeah. Probably like quarter teaspoon. I just start with little, then I add more as I taste it, obviously. Celery seed. Oh, I love the smell of celery seed. It reminds me of the holidays. Smells so good. And that, and add more so I'm going to open the lid. Probably going to do um, a teaspoon. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's about a teaspoon. I always smell it because I'm always like, do I want that flavor in there? And I'm going to do a little bit of oregano. Oregano complements things, but by itself, it is strong. So I'd say that's like, I don't know, teaspoon? Maybe they're half teaspoon? I don't know. Either way, just add it as I go. And we just, it'll be great. It'll be great. All right, so I decided to go ahead and add the, um, oh my gosh, I was gonna say tomato, the pumpkin puree, because that way it can kind of get cooked with all the flavors, and then I'm gonna add the sausage and kind of have it be this big, chunky, chunky, I don't wanna say mush, that's not a good word, but I think you get the idea. And then I'm gonna add the chicken broth. All right, so I'm gonna put in the pumpkin. I'm gonna put it in and I'll show you. Oh man, that smells good. Now time for the sausage. I can't do this. I'm gonna have to get another sinking holder for my phone that angles down at what I'm doing. What happens when you buy cheap gadgets? Okay. I'm left handed, so I have to hold the phone over here so I can use my left hand. People do their like chicken soup stock this way, or what was it? It was a chicken pot pie, I think my sister did, and this is what it looked like. But that would make sense because it's chicken pot pie. Anyway, I'm gonna get the broth and we're gonna put it in. Um, I like to get the uh, Walmart, has the Sam's of organic bone broth and I feel like it's way richer of a broth um, and it's so much better for you getting the bone broth and it's a really great price you can see the color of that broth once I started using the bone broth I was like I'm not going back to regular chicken broth so Again, we're just mixing it up. I'm probably gonna turn the heat up a little bit. So I think I'm gonna add probably maybe a half of this more. All right, that feels about half. Yeah, because that thickened up really fast. So, and this is a pretty big pot. This is like the biggest roaster pot there is so that's quite a bit of soup oh um i didn't show you guys but i added probably a tablespoon of salt maybe like a half tablespoon of salt and about a teaspoon of pepper so it's been boiling for a few minutes i'm going to turn it down to medium and i'm going to taste it it smells really hearty that's for sure so this is like a pie pumpkin. This is pretty big for a pie pumpkin, okay? The pumpkin I cut, I cut and cooked today was like this big. Um, all right, I'm gonna taste this. Okay, you guys, I've made butternut squash soups and acorn squash soups, but I've never made pumpkin soup. That is so good. It has such a different flavor to it. Like, it tastes similar to a squash soup. Very similar. The flavor palette and complex is all there. Oh, yeah. It's different, but I think it's better. Anyway, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Turned out delicious. Super easy. Baked the pumpkin, cooked the sausage, sauteed up that trio. 
season it to how you like, add the chicken broth, boom, you're done. And I think I'm gonna probably roast some bread rolls in the oven, serve this with the bread rolls and the kids will love it, hopefully. All right, thanks for watching guys, till next time.